Hi everyone and welcome back to another video, it's Vicky here and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to get this loose watercolor look without even watercoloring. We are going to use watercolor markers by Altenew and I'm going to show you how you can stamp with them to get a beautiful look. These are new by Altenew and this is actually part of a blog hoop and there is a giveaway on my blog. So here are the markers, there are 10 colors in this set and this is the first set that Altenew has ever released which is called Spring Garden Set. In the barrel of these markers there is liquid watercolor as you can see. So there is a bristle tip as you can see, it's a real brass and it's nice and fine so you can add uh, lots of details with this brass. Now before you start using them the first time you need to remove this uh, yellow ring and discard it and then you need to screw this back as you can see and the idea here is to push where it says push on the barrel and then the liquid will flow all the way to the tip. You need to do this only one time, the first time when you prep them. Now my marker is ready to be used and I will repeat the same process for all the rest of the 9 markers and I'm also going to create a quick swatch for you so you can see the colors of each marker. Here are all 10 colors, I worked with my markers directly on watercolor paper for this swatch and you can see how vibrant they are. Now if you want to have a softer look you can always dilute them with water and of course you can blend them together to get even more colors. Now the obvious thing to do with these markers is to just stamp and color in your images. Instead I'm going to show you how you can use them for a really cool look. So from this stamp set instead of using the black lines to color inside I'm going to use one of the solid stamps which are actually layers for this flower. I'm going to place them on my Misty and I have a watercolor paper here. I'll just decide where I want my flowers to be and then I will close the door of my Misty and I also have close by a spray bottle which is full of water. Now instead of using uh, ink as you would normally do I'm going to use my markers. I'm going to make sure that I cover up completely my flowers and here I'm using warm sunshine. And I'm going to use my water spray bottle to add just a mist. Now I'm going to close the door and I'm going to allow a few seconds for that watercolor to sink into my watercolor paper. And you can see how it looks. If it is too splotchy you can add more water. And this is going to allow the color that is already in the paper to blend out. I'm cleaning my stamps with a towel and now I will move on to a darker shade of watercolor. And here I'm using Autumn Blaze. I applied the watercolor here only at the center of uh, the flowers, sprayed some water and now I'm going to allow everything to blend. You can see how beautiful it looks and you can always go back and add some color directly with your marker if you want to or just leave it as it is, I think it looks gorgeous either way. Now I'm going to do the centers, so I'm placing them there, I'm going to close the door of my Misty and um, I'm going to use the evening grey on top of it. Now this is quite of a warm grey so it works nicely. Now this set doesn't come with a darker brown, so I will show you later on how, what you can do for that. Now I will move on and add some um, stems as well as some leaves and for those I used the moss watercolor marker. So I'm applying my watercolor there, I'm going to mist again, close the door of my misty, allow a few seconds for the watercolor to sink into my paper and I'm going to turn this into a card later on but first let's do some more stamping. For my next example I'm going to use the fabulous floral layering stamp set and I'm going to use stamps that have some open space, not the solid ones since you need to have some variation for this technique to work. So I'm going to use the second, the third and the fourth layer of the same flower but they will look all different at the end. 
And here are my stamped flowers, really gorgeous. Again, I did the same technique, but somehow I missed filming it. So I combined uh, two watercolor brush markers. The first one was Autumn Blaze, and then uh, as a darker shade at the middle of uh, my flowers, I used Rubellite. Now I'm going to stamp some leaves and again I chose leaves that they do have some empty space in the design and they are not completely solid. I am combining two colors here. The first one, the lighter one, is limeade and then I am darkening things up with moss. I have applied moss at the base of the leaves and here is what I end up with. Now I'm using the little stamp for the centers and instead of using the watercolor markers, I'm just going to stamp it with black ink. This is going to give just enough detail on my flowers, but they are going to look nice and loose as well. Now let's move on and create a card using the first panel that I have created. I'm stamping the center with uh, Espresso ink. And since I want this to be quite loose as well, before I let the ink dry, I'm using my watercolor brush there to add a little bit of water. This is going to make it look more blurry and it's going to look as if it was watercolored as well. I created a card base that was made out of uh, yellow cardstock, the same color as the flowers. And um, I have uh, used foam tape at the back of my panel to stick it there. And I have also created a little uh, strip of sentiment here by doing some white embossing on the same colored cardstock. The sentiment is also from the same set as the flowers. The final result is really stunning. It looks like you have watercolored everything with your brushes, while all we did was just stamping. Now let's make another card using the second panel that I have created. I'm going to use the matching dies to cut out the leaves and one of the dies to cut out the larger of the flowers. Now since I have used uh, layers from the same flower, there aren't, ma there aren't matching dies, but I can always use my scissors to cut out everything. As I'm cutting them out, I'm making sure that I leave a white border all around so everything matches nicely. Now I'm going to use this white washi tape by Altenew, which uh, was released, uh, um, I think, last year. And um, I'm going to create a panel, so I'm just covering up a piece of uh, white cardstock, and then I'm going to cut out a rectangle. I can now create my flower composition on top, and for that I'm going to use foam squares at the back of the flowers and the leaves, just to add some dimension. So as I'm putting everything together, I want to remind you that there is a giveaway on my blog. So for a chance to win a gift certificate, make sure to visit my blog and leave me a comment there. And also make sure to hop along the blog hop, as uh, there are many more giveaways along the way. For my sentiment, I die cut from black cardstock the word thanks from uh, this die set, which is called script words 2. And I have created my card base out of red cardstock that match perfectly the colors of my flowers. To finish off my card, I'm going to use my black Novo Drops and I'm just going to add some dots at the center of my flowers. And here is a close-up look on these gorgeous flowers. Now don't forget that you will find a full list of all the supplies that I'm using down below in the description area as well as on my blog. I hope you had fun, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.